Hey guys, super excited to be doing this video today. I've just picked up my water box aquarium from Aquarium Gallery. So I'd love to show you guys in store and just all the services that they have to offer. Let's go check it out. Alright, so something I absolutely love about this store is they do both fresh and salt water as I love both of them. So that's something I really think is awesome about this place. Just take you through and see all the awesome fresh water tanks here. This place is just awesome, so check this out. And they've just got this awesome new discus display up here. And for those of you who followed me way back in the day when I did have discus, I love these guys and they've just done an awesome job setting this up. So for those of you who are into planted tanks, there's awesome plants available here as well. And we've got your freshwater fish over here, your cichlids, goldfish, angels over here. And just really nice looking displays of all the fish. Something I absolutely love about this place is that you can really dream your tank out from beginning to end. Um, you can come here, get awesome inspiration from all the tanks around you um, and that's something that's really, really cool about this. They've also got every single product under the sun that you could possibly need for your tank as well. And all along here, we've got all of the equipment you will need. And it's just such a beautiful space to get inspired to set up your own tank, fresh or salt water. Probably my favourite space in this entire store is this one right in here. So this is where all the planning and dreaming happens for your tank. And if you're one of those people that you've got a tank but you don't want to do the aquascape yourself, the guys here are more than happy to set it up and do it for you. So that's something I think is really, really cool. So basically you've got these bits of wood here and you can set up the size of your tank which is awesome so because um, there's nothing worse than going out and buying some rocks and wood and it doesn't fit into your tank. So whether you're setting up a planted tank or a marine tank you can choose your tank come through and really plan it out and make sure that it's all going to fit look good in your tank. All right so it just so happens that they have a tank set up that's pretty much exactly the same as the one that I'm going to be getting so just for you guys to get an idea this is basically what my tank's going to be like. It's going to be in the oak and I really like the oak because I've got a black tank at the moment and anytime you get a drop of salt water onto your cupboard it shows so bad on your black cupboard so I thought I'd go for the oak and as you can see it looks really really nice. My goal for this tank is to make it as easy maintenance and simple maintenance as possible. So that's really what I'm gonna be aiming for in this tank. If you're looking for something, um, you just wanna set up your first tank, you're wanting a sump, you really want the minimal amount of effort and work to do with your tank, that's what I'm wanting to show you with this series of this tank because this really is a great beginner tank for anyone that's wanting to start salt water and they're thinking, you know, I've got my six foot tank, That's really big for some people and they might not have the room but this is a really awesome size tank even businesses if you're wanting to have a nice little display in your business um, the guys here at aquarium gallery can come and set it all up for you they can do it all for you essentially 
come and maintain it. What I'm gonna be showing you is how to set up a really simple maintenance and a really easy tank to care for over the years. You really won't have to do much with this setup. So bearing in mind the dimensions of the tank, we can then go across into this room and organize an aquascape to suit that. So my goal for this tank is to set up an SBS dominant acro tank. So we had a little play around before we started filming. And if you come around here, this is what I'm thinking for the tank. I want to set it up in the middle. And um, I really like that we've got this lower shelf and the higher shelf. So the higher shelf, we're going to be having the higher light need acros. And then this, we're going to have the lower light. So um, it's just awesome to be able to have all of this here to play around and really dream out what you want to do with the tank. So. Um, that's the sort of goal. I'm going to go sand as well, so I'm going to have sand. And while you're here picking out your rocks, you can come over. So come over into the coral and fish section and go, alright, what sort of corals am I going to want in that space? show you every single step of setting it up to right through to the end. Yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget if you are new to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm so excited to be taking you all along this journey, setting up this new build. So stay tuned and we will see you next time.